Hello, sweet souls. Happy 7-7 seven, seven portal. Um, I wanted to come on and do another reading, an angel message reading for you guys. I am traveling tomorrow um, for a much needed break. So I won't be doing any readings tomorrow unless I get a chance. Um, so I, I probably won't post again until Sunday. So I just want to let you guys know that. So we're going to call on St. Michael. St. Michael, please return to sender. Anyone sending a will, free thought, word, or action toward myself or the viewer. We're going to call on the Holy Spirit, angel, saints, spirit guides, and ancestors, and ask for a message for your greater good. What does the collective need to know for the 7-7 portal, please? What does the collective need to know for the 7-7 portal? We got Water Guardian, connect with your emotions. And I think this came out earlier during the 7-7 seven, seven portal. Things may come to the surface that make you feel some kind of way, whether it's sad or angry, frustrated, anxious, um, but they're bringing it up to your awareness so that you can process it. You can, um, you know, attack the root of the source and heal from it so that you can release it. And then we have Direction Guardian, choose your path. Right now is the time for you to decide which path you wanna be on. Spirit Fox, trust your talent in changing times. You have what it takes on this new path, okay? Just trust. Yeah. Medicine Guardian, be open to healing information. More information is coming. Wow. What does the collective need to know? Spring, see your seeds grow. So you're gonna to start to see growth. Animal guardian, trust your instincts, relying on your intuition. Let's get one more. Let's get one more. We got shield maiden, make plans and focus. And then we got dream and journey. The bottom of the deck is white witch, be the light. So if you're being called to create a platform, to speak truth, they want you to do it. Okay, <clears throat> I had a dream last night about lower vibrational energies um, coming after those in the light. And God doesn't want you to fear. God wants you to continue to do what he's calling you to do and not worry about any lower vibrational energies trying to come after you. There is no power greater than God, okay? Just continue to pray, continue to trust in God and know that you're protected, okay? What's the collective need to know? Yeah, it's, it is safe to let go. You are surrounded by love. It's safe to let go of the old version of you and step into the light. That's what I just heard. That's the change that's occurring. What's the collective need to know? Breathe love into your life. Remind yourself to breathe. Love is the highest vibration. Truth and only truth for the collective. Embrace the dark. Shine your true light upon this earth. Lower vibrational energies will do anything to try to intimidate, uh, to get you to not shine your light. But that's when you have to have unwavering faith in God that he is going to protect you. And if he's calling you to spread light, to spread love, to, to send messages, to give messages, then that's what you need to do. Truth and only truth for the collective. Wow, that was a whole lot, but I'm going to take them. We got uh, shine love on fear. Love will light up the darkness. Yeah, love, love is your protection against darker forces, lower vibrational energies. The way is clear. Awaken to the power within you. Your spirit guides, angels, and saints have cleared the path for you. There is nothing blocking your path. You are your greatest gift, and your life's journey is your masterpiece. You are aligning with exactly what you are meant to do in this lifetime. The bottom of the deck says, explore, love, create. The only thing that holds you back is you. They're waiting for you to say yes. Just, just waiting for you to say yes to your divine mission. Truth and only truth for the collective. What does the collective need to know? World within worlds. Living in the 3D, but operating in the 5D. Trusting in the divine. Then we have move forward. Now is the time for you to move ahead with what God is guiding you to do. That's the change. You're being moved forward. Some of you could be moving in a new direction, relocating, changing careers, opening your own business. 
Yeah, you had to do a lot of shadow work, a lot of healing from past traumas that could have stemmed from childhood for most of you. And they're saying now you're coming into cosmic connection and alignment with God, with the divine, the angel saints, spirit guides. You're coming into alignment. Card number 11 is also justice. Justice is playing out in your life. Yep, because you operated in integrity. And don't lower your vibration or your expectation uh, for anyone. Yeah, you're a celestial teacher. You are meant to teach and guide other people in this lifetime. And whatever, whatever manner God uh, guides you to do that, awaken. This is awakening to your spiritual gifts, divine gifts, operating from unconditional love, calls in more unconditional love. Okay, so I'm going to pull a few from the tarot and see if there is any messages. What does the collective need to know for the 7-7 portal, please? What does the collective need to know for the 7-7 portal, please? Yeah, look at this. You will receive equal. You will receive your justice. You will have victory. You will have public recognition. You will have your blessings. No one could take them from you because they're from God. For the 7-7 portal, is there anything else? Yeah. You're going to be in this grounded, stable, financially secure energy. Some of you already are in this energy. You have to have unwavering faith and trust and know that God will always meet your needs. God will always provide for you. Yeah. You are bossing up in this emperor energy. You're taking control back over your life. You are finding balance. Working with your community, helping others. To overcome chaos and conflict in their life. Yeah, to put an end to things that don't serve them. To know their value and worth. To love themselves unconditionally. To set boundaries with people, places, or things that aren't in alignment. To trust God. To align themselves with the higher vibration. The God spark. Trust in God. The collective. Truth only truth. Truth only truth. Yeah. They're saying you've been stuck in your head for far too long. It's time for you to drop the, the burden. It's you that traps you out of fear, worry, or stress. It's time for you to surrender that burden to God. Okay? And allow the sun to shine. A lot of happiness to come into your life. Peace and contentment. Success. You do have this King of Cups. This is an emotional manipulator. He came out sideways. Who has been working really hard to come against you. But you're the high priestess. And there's no match. There's no match. It doesn't matter how many people this person tried to come against you. There's no match. Because God protects the high priestess. She's highly intuitive. She knows what's going on. She doesn't speak about it, not everything, but she knows. And you're highly protected. The seven, seven portal, yeah. I do see um, an emotional offer coming in. Somebody wanting a passionate new beginning, wanting to heal a situation. This was a soul connection. Tell me about this soul connection. Yeah. This is someone from the past that wants to come in. They want to heal the situation. They want to have a passionate new beginning. They This was a, a soul connection, a karmic soul connection. They want to have a second chance. God's advice to you, yes, they have regret, but they haven't been accountable. They haven't spoken truth. And God's advice to you is to cut them out with the queen of swords, abandon or reject them, leave them out in the cold because you have wishes, multiple wishes coming true and you need to walk away in order to receive these wishes. This person just creates confusion and illusion. They're in dark, low vibe energy and God does not want interference in your life because you have a true purpose. Yeah, look at this. Look what's coming in for you. You are this queen of cups and the upright, loving, kind and empathetic. You are the empress. You operate in divine love energy and you are being guided toward true emotional fulfillment, true divine love, a stable offer that will last long term. Not someone that wants to deceive and devil energy that's under judgment and is trying to get you to carry the weight of their karma. No, 
That's not the way it works. All right, guys, this is your reading. I love you, and I hope that you have an amazing 7-7 seven, seven portal. Make sure you protect your energy. Keep praying. Um, get connected. Uh, call on um, that higher vibrational energy. Envision it coming into your crown chakra and filling your entire body. And um, I will see you guys on Sunday. I love you. Bye.